Hey y'all, it's Amy and welcome to Become Your Own Favorite Chef. Today on the menu, burgers. So, uh, you know, burgers are delicious, but they're not the healthiest meal in the world. There are absolutely ways to make burgers decadent, delicious, and still very healthy for you, or healthier. Starting with the kind of meat that you're going to buy. Um, I have here a pound of very lean ground beef. It's only got 7% fat. And normally, regular hamburger meat that you buy has anywhere between 20 and 30% fat, which makes them delicious and juicy, right? Well, I promise you today I'm going to make this very lean ground beef. Very decadent, juicy, delicious. You're not going to miss the fat stuff, I promise. Um, I usually do this with turkey meat. And uh, turkey meat works well too, but you have to be careful with that. Uh, if you get the really, really lean turkey meat, it's kind of like chicken. It doesn't do it for me. And so when I end up getting turkey meat, I get the kind that has more fat than this ground meat here. And what's the point? I think that even the lean ground beef tastes better and more burger-like than the little fattier turkey meat. So this is what I'm going for. But, you know, I use turkey meat too. Nothing wrong with that. No matter what, even if you're using the regular old fatty ground beef to make really awesome burgers, this recipe is going to make the juiciest, most flavorful, amazing burgers. So, listen up. All you're going to need is a pound of your meat of choice. And what I've done here is I have already grated half an onion. So chopped a yellow onion in half, took the skin off, and used a grater just like you would grate some cheese. And what this does is we're going to take all the moisture that this onion is going to release while it cooks, and it's going to go straight into this burger and make it, oh my gosh, juicy and flavorful. You can see there's already a lot of juice there. We're also going to add one beaten egg. This is going to help hold this together. You don't want your meat crumbling as you're cooking it. To give it some delicious flavor, I'm going to add a tablespoon of minced garlic. You can do fresh garlic, of course, or the pre-minced kind. And I love parsley. You can also use basil, rosemary, any kind of herb that you like, but I love parsley in burgers or anything that's real meaty. And so I've got three tablespoons of freshly chopped flat leaf parsley. That's a lot of herbs there, but I want a lot of flavor. I figure if you're going to do burgers, do them right. To give a little extra flavor, we're going to add some salt and pepper. I like garlic salt, so I'm going to go with that. I've got a half a teaspoon here. You can go with plain salt if you're not a garlic salt fan. also want half a teaspoon of ground black pepper. And then to give it a little oomph, just a dash of Worcestershire sauce. This is just going to give it a little flavor. You're going to go, what is that? the Worcestershire. Now there's one more ingredient that I'm not going to add until the end of the process, uh, black truffle oil. You know me, if you know my recipes, I think that to make any recipe indulgent, fancy, just incredible, you add black truffle or white truffle oil to it. But this is a finishing oil, so if I added a bunch of oil to this now, it would burn when we cooked our burgers, it would get bitter. So as I'm finishing the cooking process, uh, so I'm going to drill just a little bit of that oil on there. If you don't have truffle oil, you absolutely don't have to do that. Or if you don't like truffle oil, you don't have to add it. This burger is going to be amazing on its own. So just give this a quick stir. And then I'm going to create patties. Make them as big as you like. And then I'll show you the best way to cook them this year and all those juices. Alright, the perfect way to cook a burger is on the skillet, not on the grill. This is going to sear in that those juices, make this the perfect juicy burger, even with lean ground beef. I've been heating this pan up about five minutes on medium heat. We are going to add a little bit of oil since there's not a fat, a lot of fat in the meat itself. They will tend to stick. So let's go ahead. I've made these into pretty large flat patties. Uh, pretty good size. Usually burgers shrink, but since we're using lean beef, there's not a lot of fat that's going to cause the shrinkage. So make the patty the size you want it because it'll stay that size. Another trick, you know how sometimes burgers will puff up in the middle? Give it a little dent with your thumb and that will prevent that from happening so your burger will be perfectly even. We'll place that in. I'll get the others going. We're going to cook these burgers on one side for five minutes. 
flip them over and do them on the other side. Now, depending on the size of your burger, you might want to adjust that time, but you're looking for the internal temperature of 160 degrees. That's when you know your meat is ready. All right, we'll let these cook for five minutes and then we'll flip them. Okay, so it's been about five minutes. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn these burgers over. Okay, you're looking for them to definitely be browned. And you'll see a lot of people at diners and things, they'll push their patties down. Don't do that, even if your burger puffs up, that's fine. If you push them down, you're gonna push all the juices out. So just flip them and leave them alone. And in another four minutes or so, we'll do our last minute touch. Okay, it's been about four minutes. The last minute of cooking is when, if you wanna really amp these up, put just a drizzle of truffle oil. I'm using black truffle oil, you can use white, but black is my favorite. Cook this over the, or put this over the top, it's gonna give these such an amazing, unique burger flavor. This is one of those secret ingredients that you never have to share with nobody, but everyone's gonna wanna know what is so awesome about these burgers. So one more minute and we will put these off and assemble. Okay guys, the way to assemble a hamburger is just as important as cooking it. First off, toast your buns. I've got a little bit of garlic oil on here. Just stick them in the oven for a second with the boiler on and that really makes a difference. If you've got good bread, that helps. I want to keep this simple, but I've got this sauce that is to die for, especially on hamburgers. It's a light mayonnaise with garlic and parsley and lemon juice. Here are the exact ingredients. All you do is mince up everything real fine, stir it together, and voila, you've got this incredible sauce. So, all I'm gonna do here is put on one, a little bit of this amazing mayonnaise on both pieces of bread. And I'm gonna keep this simple. I wanna taste the burger, I wanna taste the sauce. So I'm not gonna put lots of other veggies on it, but that's just me. Feel free to add cheese or tomatoes or onions. I'm just gonna do one really big piece of lettuce, our delicious burger, and voila. Now we're ready to eat. Ah. Oh, you see that juice? Mm. I told you I could make lean hamburger meat juicy. That tastes like I went to Big Orange, okay? This is amazing. It's the best burger I've had in probably forever. It's juicy, it's flavorful. That mayonnaise gives it such a nice extra kick. Oh, I'm gonna enjoy this. I hope y'all do too. Jeez, that's good, Mom.